folks, assalamu alaikum and welcome to my channel, Hashina's Infusion of Flavors. This is a recipe which I promised on one of my own videos previously. Um, it's the butternut squash with prawn curry and it's a sweet savory dish. If you've never cooked butternut squash, it's similar to pumpkin. Both are winter squashes and great for this season. If you're thinking we're going to use sugar for this dish, no not at all. The sweetness actually comes from the butternut squash which is also very nutty in taste. So I'm just using a potato peeler to take off the skin. By all means you can use a knife if that's what's easier for you. And then just use a little spoon to scoop out all the seeds from inside. Finally cut out into your desired shape and size, although bear in mind the larger that the pieces are, the longer it will take for them to cook. And then finally wash and soak in some cold water. So here in a saucepan I've got about 3 tablespoons of vegetable oil, you can use any cooking oil of your choice, and then add a couple of bay leaves and to that I'm adding two large sized onions that I've chopped. If you want to, you can also include fresh garlic or even herbs like thyme and rosemary which work really well with butternut squash. Add salt to taste. I will list all the ingredients and the measurements in the description box for you. and then cook on medium flame with the lid closed for about five minutes. As you can see, the onions have started to fry instead of caramelize. Um, from the bottom of the pan and that's a direct result of too much heat when sauteing the onions so what I'm going to do is just add a splash of water and then leave it to cook for a further couple of minutes on slow heat uh, with the lid back on now that the onions have all softened and evenly cooked. I am going to just use a potato masher to break it all down into a gravy. It's time to add in the spices. That's one and a half teaspoon of turmeric powder one to two teaspoon of Kashmiri red chilli powder and approximately a teaspoon of coriander powder You may have heard me say this in all my gravy based curries is that the spices need to be cooked really well in order for the taste to come through and we do that by cooking on a low temperature stirring frequently and making sure that the spices do not get stuck to the bottom of the pan and burn. If the base is a little too dry you can always add a splash of water. That's about 200 grams of prawns that I'm going to wash with a little bit of salt. It's already pre-cleaned 
So the shells have been removed and so has the vein from inside. As you can see the oils have separated on the surface which means my spices are now cooked and it's time to add the prawns. Add the butternut squash Squash can be cooked in many different ways. One of the most common methods is to roast it inside an oven. On this occasion however, we are going to cook the squash on slow heat, stirring frequently until it's tender. This process should take about 15 minutes. Add a few green chilies, that's about 6 to 7 and leave it to cook for about another 4 to 5 minutes. As you can see, it is still quite raw in some places. Give it a stir. Allow it to simmer and cook gently until tender. Add some water, that's a tumbler glass. Remember not to include too much water or else it will just turn into a puree. Put the flame up a little and cook until boiling point. The cooking time of the squash can also vary depending on a number of things. One is the method you're applying to cook. Two, the size of the pieces of squash you have cut out. Three, the pot you have chosen to cook in. And four, the amount of squash you're cooking at a time. Once it's all nice and fork tender, it's time to garnish with some fresh coriander leaves. Finally, turn off the gas. Some people like to add cream or ghee, which is clarified butter at this stage for that rich creamy texture. But I'm going to leave it as it is, plain and simple. I like to finish it off by sweeping the sides of my pan so it's nice and neat. All that's left to do now is to eat. So grab yourself a plate and serve nice and hot. I hope you enjoyed my recipe. Don't forget to share, like, comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you for watching, take care and see you all soon.